Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. This lesson, I'm gonna walk you through the simple version of this login form. So this is uh, this would be something that you're not gonna distribute, maybe more used for in, internal sort of things, and you know you just wanna don't have to don't wanna have to worry about the database and all that sort of thing. You just wanna have a simple kind of login script that then you can just put kind of whatever content you want in there for logged in users. You may be the only logged in user. You may have a few people, it's really up to you. You can add more users, but uh, again, it's just a simple non-database version of a login script. So let me just show you this real quick. I have a, a password, pretty uh, name and password here. And actually I do need to change something right there, but we'll do that when we get in here. So if we hit submit, you can see I come to a simple screen that says, welcome John Morris, and then it uh, so it has my name and knows who I am and then has this click here to log out link so this is where you could I just have really simple in here but I'm showing that you can actually grab some user data so it knows who I am and I'm logged in if I kind of reload this page you know it still is going to recognize that I'm logged in and then I, I just have a simple log out link here so if I click here to log out it says you are now logged out and if I go back here uh, this is actually the home page so this is index.php and it's bringing up the login screen again. So I'll show you how all that works, but that's essentially what the script does. If I put in just some gobbledygook for uh, name and password and try to submit it, you can see I don't get logged in. And if I try to refresh this page to get back in, I can't get back in. Okay, so that's a simple idea here. Now let's kind of jump over and, and see all the code behind this. So like I said, this is a non-database uh, login script. So where we actually keep the user's data is in a config file. And so this is essentially, I've just created an a, a array in the, kind of the global namespace here called users. And in it, I have the username, the password, and the name. So just some simple data. You could, of course, add whatever data you wanted uh, to this, and, and it'd be just fine. You can also, if I just kind of copy this, and copy paste and let's just change let's just add a new user here so we'll go don juan so we'll enter all this here and we'll save that and if i come back over here and now i log in with my don juan username and hit submit. Now it knows that I'm Don Juan and I'm, I'm logged in. So you can easily add new users to this, again, not using a database. And you might be wondering about saving these usernames and passwords in a PHP file like this. It's perfectly fine because if they, if they, if they got there, they can't view this config file directly there, right? There's no way to do that servers all protect against that sort of thing because if they got access to your code even if you were let's say storing these in a database and you were hashing you would still have to have your nonces and all that sort of stuff state saved in your files so if they get access to your code like this then they can get they can get into anywhere that they want so uh having them in plain text or not hashed here isn't any more more or less safe uh, than if we were to try and hash them here and do all that sort of thing that wouldn't make it any more safe because they would have the nonces and or, or the salts and they could just recreate uh, the hash anyway so it's perfectly fine to do this for this particular uh, scenario here they're not going to be able to get access to this file uh, to be able to see these passwords and so forth all right so that's the config file i'm going to go ahead and close uh, kind of shut that one out because we won't really be using that anymore um, our main file here is where, that kind of is our handler is our index.php and into it we're requiring this load.php and so in load I've talked about this before but I like these load files because I can put all my require statements in this load file and then in every file where I need access to those I can just do this require once on load and it loads all of the stuff that's in here instead of having to take all this stuff and put it at the top of here. So that's essentially what load does. It's gonna load our config file I just showed you, and then it's gonna load a file from our includes folder, which is actually our login class that we're gonna be 
uh, using here. So and we'll get to that in a second, but that's what load does. I'm just trying to kind of go through the ones that we can kind of get rid of right off the bat. So uh, that's load.php. All right, so now we can kind of dive into this and show you the initial handler. So we have load.php being loaded in, so that gives us access to our config file and to our login class. And then we basically need to do two things. So first off, we need to check if there is any sort of login data that's been submitted. So if we need to check if that login form has been submitted. So we're going to check if uh, post data, if the, if the request method is a post method, basically if a form has been submitted. And if so, then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pass the post data to this verify login method in our login class. And again, we'll go through what that is, but we need to be able to handle those form submissions. So that's essentially what this block of code is right here. It's handling the logins. Now you notice we're not redirecting or anything like that. And I'll, sh I'll show you why, because we're going to be using sessions. And that's one of the nice things about using sessions is we don't have to do a bunch of redirects and so forth. So uh, again, we, we're, we're handling logins. We're going to check to see basically if we need to handle login. If so, we're going to handle it. And then we're going to come back here and on every page load, uh, we're going to verify the session. So essentially what this does is it takes the, the session data, uh, it checks to see if there's any se session data related to this user being logged in. And we'll, we'll talk about what all that is here in just a second, but it's going to check to see if that data exists. If it exists, then it's going to check it against what we have in our config file, make sure that it's not some you know wonky uh, uh, or, or there's some sort of attack or hack or anything like that. It's going to check against what we have in our config file. And if there's a match, then if the user is, is, is really a user in our system, then it's going to go ahead and, uh, allow this session to continue. And then based off of that, right, if, if we verify the session, then we're going to include our homepage which is the one that said, welcome, John, click here to log out. That's our homepage. And then if the, the, the user isn't verified, then we're going to include our login.php. So home.php, it says, hey, welcome, and then the username, and has the click to log out here. This is actually included inside of index.php. So uh, this index.php is kind of a wrapper for the whole system, and it's it's really a handler. Uh, and then, it, of course, if they are not authenticated, then we display our login form here, and that's what this is. And we'll get all to all this in just a second. But what I want you to understand about this particular page is that um, it is a it's handling logins, but b it's really it's it's a handler page. So index.php really itself doesn't display anything. All it does is it's 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 kind of like a point guard in basketball. It's directing traffic. And so it's it's saying, was there a, a, a post submission? Okay, do this. And then once that's done, if then we're gonna check and verify the user. If the user's verified, then we're gonna load this page. If the user's not verified, then we're gonna load this page. Okay, and so all of the actual pages that you're going to actually see display on are going to be included into this index.php. Now, one thing about that, the reason I bring all this up is because if you wanted to create, let's say you wanted to create uh, and say an about page or something like that, then and you wanted to create a whole sort of new page, right? Here we're doing home or login. Okay, so this is basically the home page. Let's say you wanted to create an about page you would use this same handler. You would use all the same code, maybe get rid of the, the, the logins here. And if uh, this, this login part here, but uh, the handling the request here, because we'll, I'll show you in the form in a second why you can do that. But uh, you could probably get rid of this part, but you would still want this part. And in, in that case of uh, say an about page, it would be about.php or login.php. Okay. So, Every page that you create is going to verify the session and then either display the page that they're supposed to see or display the login page. You could also, you don't have to do an include of login here. You could do an in, you could do a, a header redirect to a login page. 
So you have options with all of this stuff, and there's about a hundred different ways to to do this sort of thing. But this is the way that I've I've chosen to do that. So I just want to try and give you the bigger picture here for a second of the ways that you can change this and use this and so forth. So every page that you create is going to to try and authenticate the user using verify this verify session method, and it's either going to display the page if they're verified, or it's going to display a login and or redirect them to a login page um, if they're not verified. Every single page that, that you create. 